Good morning, I'm Dr. Heba Ghanoum, and our topic today is non-separative otitis media. Chronic otitis media is divided into two types, chronic non-separative and chronic separative otitis media. Non-separative, yani there is no pus inside the middle ear cavity, yani we have an intact tympanic membrane as long as we don't have pus inside the middle ear cavity. Um, what are the two, the two types of non-separative otitis media? secretory otitis media or the otitis media with effusion and adhesive otitis media yani a secretory otitis media yani uh, fluid inside the middle ear cavity but this fluid is uh, not pus it's sterile fluid inside the middle ear cavity adhesive otitis media from its name adhesions inside the middle ear cavity the second type chronic separative otitis media it's either safe or unsafe or tubotympanic and aticoantral and uh, chronic separative otitis media is not the scope of our lecture today we will be discussing in detail the chronic non-separative otitis media chronic secretory otitis media or otitis media with effusion as we mentioned earlier is the presence of non-parallel fluid inside the middle ear cavity what is the etiology of otitis media with effusion um, it can be caused by ostachian tube obstruction at the level of the ostachian tube orifice some, something causing um, obstruction as adenoids or nasopharyngeal tumors as nasopharyngeal carcinoma or at the level of the whole tube uh, ostachian tube edema as in cases of, cases of infection or allergy uh, what are the other causes in case of unresolved um, acute otitis media due to inadequate treatment inadequate antibiotic treatment and the, the last cause is um, ostachian tube muscle dysfunction that, uh, that can be seen in, uh, in children born with cleft palate. Otitis media with effusion is the commonest cause of bilateral conductive hearing loss in children. Uh, patients will present with hearing loss and tinnitus and sensation of fluid in the ear or bubbling sound during nose blowing. What are the signs of uh, secretory otitis media? Uh, by otoscopy, we'll find a dull tympanic membrane, and it might show an amber yellow or a grayish tinge. Also, we can see sometimes the air bubbles or the hairline from the fluid level, as seen in the above photos. What about the tuning fork tests? The tuning fork tests will show conductive hearing loss, yani, and you will find bone conduction is better than air conduction. What are the investigations needed for a case of otitis media with effusion? Uh, first, for hearing assessment, we need audiometry and tympanometry. Audiometry will show conductive hearing loss, while tympanometry will show type B tym curve tympanogram. Um, X-ray nasopharynx lateral view to exclude adenoids because they are the com commonest cause of the ostachian tube obstruction, especially in children. Treatment of uh, secretory otitis media, we have two options, either medical treatment or surgical, the conservative or medical treatment. Um, number one, treating the predisposing factors, such as in cases of enlarged adenoids causing obstruction of the ostachian tube, uh, namel adenoidectomy, uh, antibiotics to prevent uh, recurrent infections, mucolytics, uh, to, do, to dissolve the mucus inside the middle ear cavity, uh, corticosteroids systemically, nasal decongestants to help opening of the ostachian tube, and finally inflation of ostachian tube either by, uh, val by the valsalva maneuver, which is uh, forced expiration while both uh, your mouth and nose are closed, or by chewing gums. The patient is usually uh, given several trials with the conservative method together with follow-up, hoping for the resolution of secretory otitis media. In case a conservative uh, method failed, then this patient is referred for surgery, uh, which is myringotomy in this case, an incision in the tympanic membrane, uh, followed by aspiration of the glue ear, the, the fluid inside the middle ear cavity, uh, and insertion of a ventilation tube. Uh, 
uh, why do we insert a ventilation tube? We insert a ventilation tube in order uh, to have a replacement for the ostachian tube, which is not functioning. So it acts as a replacement for the non-functioning or the, the poor function of the oste ostachian tube. Uh, what are the types of uh, ventilation tubes that are used? There are two types, actually, the grommets tube, which is the temporary ventilation tube that is usually extrude, extruded within six months. And the second type is uh, the T-tube, which is the ventilation tube that stays for a longer duration until removed. We now come to the second type of chronic and non-separative otitis media, which is adhesive otitis media. What is adhesive otitis media? It's the presence of fibrous adhesions inside the middle ear cavity, causing limitation of movement to the tympanic membrane and the ossicles. And these fibrous adhesions are formed by organization of the inflammatory exudate present inside the middle ear cavity. Ill etiology, what's the etiology of chronic uh, adhesive otitis media? Either long-standing ostachian tube obstruction or following uh, secretory otitis media or healed chronic separative otitis media. Clinical picture and investigations of adhesive otitis media. This patient will present with hearing loss and tinnitus. Uh, signs by otoscopy, you will find the signs of a retracted drum and we mentioned the signs of a retracted drum earlier. Can we can we shorten the handle of malleus, prominent lateral process, exaggerated anterior and posterior malleolar folds, distorted cone of light, and finally, the uh, limited uh, mobility of the tympanic membrane by sigillization. Um, also by otoscopy, you can find another uh, finding. Uh, sometimes you, you can see the white patches of uh, the, the, what we call the tympanosclerotic patches. Uh, by tuning for testing, you will find conductive hearing loss, yani, yani you will find the bone conduction better than air conduction. What about the investigations for a case of adhesive uh, otitis media? By pure tone audiogram, you will find conductive hearing loss. Sometimes you can find mixed hearing loss. Uh, tympanometry, by you can you can find actually uh, in textbooks some state that it's um, it's type AS and other textbooks you can find it's they stated that it's type C tympanogram but by clinical experience you can find uh, with adhesive otitis media you can find type AS type C type B tympanogram and even sometimes you can find ty type A curved tympanogram depending on the extent of the adhesions inside the middle ear cavity Finally, we come to treatment of adhesive otitis media. Daiman al wakaya khayru min al alag, fa prophylactic is zay by proper treatment of uh, acute otitis media and cases of secretory otitis media. What about curative? Uh, curative, we have two options. The first option is tympanoplasty and cutting of the adhesions, but the problem with surgery in cases of adhesive otitis media here is recurrence. Recurrence is quite common. Uh, the second option was uh, hearing aid fitting.